We are following the road to the championship for you this evening in the Hawkeyes. Well, they are moving on to the Elite Eight. The women's basketball team beat North Carolina State earlier today, 79 to 61. And Matt McCulloch is here now. Matt, a historic day and a long time in the making. A long time in the making indeed. This is the first time that the Hawks have reached the Elite Eight since 1993. Yeah, they made it to the Elite Eight finally. Adam Rosso is live with us tonight on the big win. Adam. Yeah, what a performance today by the black and gold. You know, outside of about a three-minute stretch in that third quarter, it was total domination over NC State. Pretty good time to play one of the best games of the year if you're a Hawk fan. Of course, the pressure in the Sweet 16, not getting to them one bit. You said it, Matt. First Elite Eight since 1993, just one win away from the Final Four. Another historic achievement by this group of women who don't want this ride to end. You know, there's nothing like it right now, and we just want to keep this going as, as long as possible, and it's been a magical season, and I'm just so excited that, you know, I can share this with Hannah and Tania. It's so exciting. I mean, we worked just, we worked so hard all year, and it's just paying off at the right time, and I wouldn't have wanted to do it with another group of girls. It's just an awesome team to be a part of. I feel really blessed. It's everything that I've wanted in my college journey, so to be able to be going to the Elite Eight with this group, this coaching staff, um, it's nothing short of amazing. You always want to go one step farther than you have before. You always want to do better. Uh, and today we want one more, one more step, but we're not done yet. We want to keep going. We want to keep this rolling and why not, right? We're one step away from the final four, so why not? Ecstatic locker room to say the least. Lisa Bluter and the Hawks saying they're playing their best basketball of the season right now. Pretty hard to argue with them after an 18-point victory. Matt's going to have the highlights and full post-game coverage a little later in sports.